51 years ago this month, a battle began in Vietnam that would change the course of that war. The Vietnam War is still impacting many American veterans, and many have returned to the city of Hue to revisit and remember the most fierce battle of what became known as the Tet Offensive. Hue in monsoon season. The rain doesn't stop the flow of tourists, though, to the imperial city and the citadel that surrounds it. The communist flag that flies now, very different from the one that flew in January 1968, at the beginning of the battle that would change the course of the war in Vietnam. Many people have shed their tears and blood for, for the for black hole. So that would be the first thing that I tell, tell them stories about. Thu shares those stories for a living to Vietnamese, Americans, and many who want to understand what happened during one of the longest and bloodiest battles of the war. The first day of the Tet Offensive happened, there was battle and there was like an alert in the city that tell every family to go and hide in the bunker. And in my mom's house, there was a bunker as well uh, that could fit six, I mean, seven people, my grandparents, two of them, and my mom and four of her siblings. That first day was January 31st. The North Vietnamese and Viet Cong used a holiday truce to launch attacks across southern Vietnam. Many of those were rolled back within days, but not in Hue. This went on for a long time. It is. It went on for 26 days mm -hmm. in the city, and it was chaos for many civilians, many North Vietnamese army, thousands of North Vietnamese you know, soldiers die, and also the, the South Vietnamese Army and U.S. forces as well. Ray Wilkinson was a young U.S. Marine in the middle of it all. Way was World War II style fighting, and this had not been the fighting in Vietnam. The fighting in Vietnam normally was out in the bush, out in the boonies. This was street to street, World War II style fighting. The Marines, as they've admitted, the Marines were totally unprepared for this kind of warfare. So they had to learn it street by street. Hard for you when you think back to it, or do you try not to think about those times? Strange. When you're right in the middle of it, you're not scared because you're so full of adrenaline and trying to survive and shooting back. You don't have time to think about that. It's when it stops a little bit, when the shooting stops a little bit, that you begin to shake and, 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 and say, my god, what am I in, what am I in for here? What the Marines were in for next was an assault on the heavily fortified walled citadel on the other side of the river that divides the city. Crossing the Parfume River was a critical part of the fight. That's because on one side you had the Military Assistance Command Vietnam, it's known as MACV, and that's where a lot of U.S. Army soldiers and Marines were based. And on the other side was the citadel, and that's where the fiercest of the fight was taking place. The Battle of Hue lasted almost a month. More than 200 Americans died in it, over 1,500 wounded. Vietnamese casualties were counted in the thousands. The impact of the Tet Offensive was that it brought the war home to America, raising questions about whether we could win. To say that we are mired in stalemate seems the only realistic, if unsatisfactory, conclusion and gave root to an anti-war movement. Now, Way is a tourist mecca for war and remembrance. Why do you think all of those bullet holes have been left there all these years that they didn't cover them up? I would say it was to, to teach our young generation a story. Ray, the combat veteran, chose to stay here when the fight was over and now teaches English in a nearby town. The Vietnamese suffered much more, frankly, than, than the average American, in a sense. Um, they've gotten over it much more quickly than the Americans. They've had a great, great capacity to forgive, and they've had a great capacity to move on. Our trip to Hue was part of reporting on a number of stories you'll see here on Full Measure including how Vietnam has become both benefactor and something of an ally in the trade war with China.